Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor, and today we are going to get to know a little bit more about your heart. Amazing, isn't it? That heart beeps 72 times per minute, 100,000 times per day. Do you ever think about the magnitude of what your heart is? Do you know the heart is made up of muscle? It's not mysterious. Muscle needs oxygen, muscle needs fuel. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit today about the physiology, how the heart actually works. It's a pump. It has four chambers, four parts that have to push blood throughout your whole body, but you may not realize that a part of the pumping sends blood to your lungs. So what happens is, is the heart's gonna send blood to your lungs and it's going to get more oxygen and it's going to release something called carbon dioxide. So your heart is pumping and it's going lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. Do you know what's causing the lub dub noises? It's the valves that are closing inside of your heart. So the valves are going to close so when the heart chambers contract, the blood's going to go out either to the rest of the body or it's going to go over to your lungs. Guess what? allows that heart muscle to function better. B vitamins, that's B as in Bravo by vitamins. You say, well, Dr. Bob, how do I lose my B vitamins? You lose B vitamins from stress, from eating sugar. Sugar and stress deplete the body of B vitamins. You really want your heart to be functioning at 100% all the time. I'm gonna share a little nugget with you. Inside of my office, I have a very special piece of equipment called an acoustic cardiogram. We have an electronic stethoscope that we literally place over your chest in four different areas, and we can listen to the lub dub. Do you remember what I told you caused the lub dub noise? It's the muscles contracting, causing the valves to close. What made an impact on that muscle to contract? That's right, B vitamins. B is in Bravo, remember? Well, if you don't have enough B vitamins, what can happen is that heart is not gonna contract sharply and you're gonna actually have a hesitation of the heart sound. That's one of the ways that we can help determine what kind of nutritional need that you have for your body. Now, as I was mentioning to you about the acoustic cardiogram, and I'm gonna share something with you very special right now, that the blood flows from the bottom of your feet up through the lower part of your trunk, through the liver, on the way to your heart. And if I have somebody that comes into the office and they have a larger abdomen, a big old belly, I have a chance that I believe they have congested liver. Now I'm not trying to confuse you with a lot of different organs and glands, but the blood flows through your liver on the way to your heart. And we have found patterns on this acoustic cardiogram where the liver can actually congest the blood from flowing through and we see a little bit of hesitation inside of the heart closing of the valves. So we have actually improved our patient's heart health by helping them improve liver function. I always encourage our patients to eat Dr. Bob's ABCs, a half an apple every day. A third cup of beets, either raw, grated, or baked, and one medium or four or five baby carrots. That helps liver function. And when your liver is functioning optimally, I know that your heart is going to function optimally also. Now, I know that many of you are very concerned about family heart disease. Well, here's what I've learned over time. It's inflammation of the blood vessels around the heart that cause what we will call atherosclerosis. Now that's a big word. That's A-T-H. You say, well, Dr. Bob, why did you spell it A-T-H? Because there's another term called arteriosclerosis. Arterial is actually the hardening of the arteries. The athro is fat around the blood vessels inside of the heart arteries. What's the difference between the two? A lot has to do with what you're eating. Now, inflammation can be caused by sugar and trans fat. People who have a passion for 
junk food that has sugar in it or convenience foods that have lots of trans fat in it can actually have hardening of the arteries around the blood vessels, not only in their heart, but around the blood vessels in their brain. Minimize your sugar, minimize trans fat, make sure that you have a good quality B vitamin, totally eliminate cigarette smoking. A couple veggies I'd encourage you to eat, red, yellow, or orange bell peppers. Great source of vitamin C that you could eat all year round because your blood vessels need to have repair. Vitamin C is a part of that repair. It helps the, um, the nutrients for the healing of the blood vessels themselves. And finally, as I mentioned to you at the beginning of the program, we want that liver to be functioning optimally. Make sure you're eating your half a red apple every day, your third cup of beets, and one medium or four or five baby carrots. If you start to feel your heart palpitating in your heart and your chest a little bit, make sure you're taking a B, enough B vitamins. Drink water. Water helps that blood flow freely throughout your body. Minimize and or eliminate aspirin. Always talk to your healthcare provider before you make that wise decision to do that. Don't be stressed out because stress is going to aggravate your heart and it's going to cause inflammation in your body. I really appreciate you joining me today. My name is Dr. Bob DiMaria. I'm the drugless doctor and I look forward to talking to you once again.